In today's podcast, we will examine the attribute of the eternal nature of Santa Claus compared to the actual eternal nature of God. Now we today, as we look at this, let us understand in this season we are approaching towards Christmas that we approach it with a pure biblical point of view and not just simply that of majority opinion, tradition, or even our personal preferences. Stay tuned for the podcast. Okay, now let's look at some of Santa's attributes. All right, number one, Santa is eternal. Santa is eternal. Santa is often portrayed as having a wife, Mrs. Claus, but he is never portrayed as having a mother or father. Have you ever noticed that? You never, you hear about Mrs. Claus, but you never hear about Santa's mom and dad. Uh, He seems to have no real beginning, and he certainly has no end. He's just always been around, and apparently he always will be. Now, Eternality, of course, is one of God's incommunicable attributes, one of his attributes uh, that he, well, that he does not share with us. We will live eternally. So I, I say that we, in the sense of right here and now, our, our physical bodies are not eternal. Santa has a physical body, and his physical body is apparently eternal, whereas ours is not. Now, we will, after our the current physical bodies in which uh, you and I reside, once those wear out and uh, go back to dust, then we will later have new physical bodies, resurrected, glorified bodies uh, in the eschaton. But here and now, uh, our bodies are not eternal. Santa's body is. And so um, uh, God is the great I am. He has always been and always will be. And Santa shares this attribute with God. That's the first.